They say that setting up Linux for pro audio stuff is hard with Jack and all of that stuff. I tell you what, it's not hard at all. I'm going to show you in the next five minutes or so how to do it, and it really isn't hard. My system is Manjaro. So it can be a little bit different on different systems, but this is Manjaro, which is an Arch-based system. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your, your package manager. You can do this by command line as well, but package manager is fine. You can do um, it cadence. And it should be available right there in the official repositories. Download that. Katia will come with it. So you don't have to worry about that. Jack 2 is a good idea as well because Jack 2 is better for systems with multiple cores, which is pretty much all the systems now. So once that's downloaded, the next thing you want to do is open up the terminal. You can either press the super key, which is the Windows key or the Mac key, and type in terminal. Terminal console is the one that I've got here on KDE. Make the text bigger so that you can see it. But the first thing you type is sudo bad audio there already. Hit return. It'll ask you for your sudo password. Type that in. That'll be done. Next thing sudo user mod sudo user mod dash a dash capital G audio dollar sign user in capital or you can type in your actual username there if you prefer either of those works fine next thing you want to do is go to dd etc I really don't know what ETC stands for. I keep saying etc. But it's not etc, I don't think. Security. And when you're in there, you do ls, and that'll list what you've got in there. And the one that you want is limits.conf. So, sudo nano limits.conf. And ask me for my password. Oh, let me scroll down to the bottom of this. Okay, right to the bottom. And this audio group that's in here at the bottom, that won't be there on your system, but you can add that yourself. So what you do is you just do this, hashtag audio group, and then add audio, line them up here like this. And you type dash item RT prio value 95 here add audio again dash memlock unlimited and once you've done that and have end of file under that make sure you don't type that stuff in there like you as you, you press the arrow keys to move the cursor around and you can hit enter and make space like that for yourself next thing control and o it's all written down there for you write out means save so control and o and then Exit at the bottom corner, control and X. Save modified buffer. You can press yes. And you can check whether it's there. You can go back into it yourself and have a look again. And then you log out and you log back in again. Now I would do that, but it would mess things up here and you wouldn't be able to see me. But I'll show you down here, corner, log out. You do that and then you log back in again. And then you can test cadence. So now cadence will open and it won't be running and hopefully you'll have user in audio group yes and configure. So this stuff here as well you've got to have an input device. You're better off with um, an external audio interface. That's something that a lot of musicians will have already and if you don't you can get pretty cheap ones from Behringer and that that work fine I believe or if you have a zoom recorder they can work as an audio interface pretty well you may or may not find that the audio of your actual computer works the analog one is the one that worked for me anytime I use it input channels that should be set when you pick your device and duplex mode is good sample rate this can be done anytime you want to change sample rates likewise buffer size You'd be probably in around 512, 1024, maybe 256. You can check that stuff as you go. The engine, real time, that's all fine. 
most of that should be set up out of the box and you should be able to hit start at that point and see if it works now there's a couple of extra steps so if you want to have your desktop audio like um youtube videos or whatever stuff being able to play at the same time as you're using jack stuff then you have to have a bridge and in order to have a bridge you can set up your bridge type down here i've got it as a pulse audio jack and it seems to work fine and it's given me no problems at all and auto start jack for laddish at login this is an important step and once you reboot your computer cadence will open jack will be turned on all of that stuff should be all set up and that's it I moved from Mac to Linux last year, and it took me a long time to figure all that stuff out. But it's not that it's hard, it's just that it's sometimes hard to find the information. And Windows has ASIO drivers, and they, they're just as complicated, I'm sure. So anyway, that's all there is. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video down below, or dislike it if you want. It all helps. If you have any specific questions about this stuff, or if you want me to cover any other aspects of it, let me know and I'll do that. And in the meantime, have fun with Linux. I'll see you next time.